What's up, everybody? Philip Caldwell coming at you again for the FFFaceoff.com. Uh, today, I've got another Metrics That Matter video for everybody. I uh, saw a pretty interesting uh, question about starting two QBs in a two QB league. Uh, we've got Aaron Rodgers versus the New England Patriots, Bo Nix versus Carolina Panthers, uh, Geno Smith versus the Buffalo Bills, and Tua Tangvaloa versus Arizona Cardinals for Week 8. Uh, I thought that this was going to be a really good good opportunity to dive into our DPAC tool, which stands for Defensive Points Allowed Consistency. And uh, one of my favorite tools for matchups, and I think one of the only tools of its kind out there, if not the only tool of its kind. So without any uh, further delay from me, let's just dive right into the tool. So just like my consistency score, the DPAC score basically gives you a consistency score for teams allowing fantasy points to different positions. I do a QB, an RB, a wide receiver, and a tight end DPAC score. Um, so this just tells you how often these team defenses are allowing high level fantasy point production to that position. Super, super helpful when you're trying to debate between a flex decision, or in this case, if you've got a positional uh, question mark when you've got something like a two QB league and you've got a bunch of QBs to choose from. So let's start off with uh, looking at the various DPAC scores right here, right? So right now I can see Carolina Panthers fourth highest DPAC. So that's already tempting, juicy, love it. Arizona Cardinals ninth highest with 5.94. Buffalo Bills right behind them, 5.73. Uh, Denver Broncos, nope, 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 and New England Patriots, here we go, 5.45, and is that all, of, no, uh, ba, 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 Buffalo Bills, Cardinals, yeah, I think that's it. You've also got the QB fantasy points allowed average by each team. So already off the top of my head, I'm thinking the Carolina Panthers and the Arizona Cardinals look like pretty nice matchups, but let's dive in just a little bit further. Uh, if you scroll down here, you get to see the defensive points allowed compared to league average. So I've already got the New England Patriots queued up here. They're the nice blue line. Uh, looks like, you know, most weeks you're looking at a little bit below to a lot below average. Uh, 7.5, whereas the average was 19.52. Uh, 15 versus 16.8. So, you know, they're not, even when they allow a lot uh, a higher than average fantasy point to the position that week, it's not a huge, huge uh, deviation, really. Um, let's take a look at the next one. We've got the Carolina Panthers with Bo Nix going up against them. Uh, looks like average in this case we've got is the blue. Black line is the Carolina Panthers. Almost every single week, they're allowing more fantasy points than the average team to the quarterback position. I love that. That's what I want to see. Thus, they've got the best uh, consistency or DPAC score, I should say, amongst this group of matchups. So this one, I'm already, you know, really tempted to say, I think I'd be starting Bo Nix, as gross and dirty as that sounds. But, you know, that is the 2024 uh, NFL season This that, at this point in time. Now we've got the Buffalo Bills. We're back to the average line being the black one. Uh, so we got black as the average. Buffalo Bills start off the year pretty on fire. They're really not allowing a lot to the quarterback position. Uh, that looks like it changes about week four. They you know jump up to above the average, and then they are right in line with average uh, points allowed for weeks five, six, and then below again in seven. Uh, so Buffalo Bills right there. I'm I'm. I think I'm, you know, avoiding that matchup right now. So I think that that is uh, Geno Smith. I would probably not be starting out of those two or out of those four. I'm sorry. Now we've got the Arizona Cardinals versus the average. Uh, again, average is the blue line in this case. I believe it goes alphabetical. That's why it keeps changing back and forth. Um, Arizona Cardinals, huge above average. Wow, that week one. But after that, you know, it really nose dives they stay below average week three they're above average by just shy of 10 points week four below again week five above again week six right about in line with average week seven no wonder their dpac score is a little bit lower but the fact that they are allowing you know here they allowed almost double the fantasy points to the average and then here they're 10 points more than average 
uh, you these peaks are what really you know highlighting you can have a really really good matchup against the Arizona Cardinals uh, if you've got a strong quarterback. Um, you notice that there's a lot there's there's these four positional tabs to the D pack scores. Then we've also got fantasy points allowed by player. You can go by each team and see who is the guy you know which players have actually scored those fantasy points against the team. Uh, so I do think that that can be pretty helpful. You can. You know, if, if they've got a, a, a big spike week and it's, you know, and then a bunch of low ones and you can see that, you know, they had one or two all-stars play against them and then a bunch of scrubs, uh, that's something that can be pretty helpful. Um, you've also got the fantasy point uh, allowed by player median score right here, which I think is also very helpful. If you if you followed me at all, you know that I'm a big proponent of the median score versus uh, fantasy points per game. Uh, median is a little bit more telling. If we look at Buffalo, their median is 9.65. If we go to Arizona, uh, their median allowed is 14.8. That is far more enticing, way better than Buffalo. Uh, Carolina is another one of the matchups. We've got uh, Caleb Williams, Derek Carr, Marcus Mariota, all scoring more than the median which uh, to me is a, is a really good sign. Uh, Derek Carr is not exactly lighting things up. Marcus Mariota, of all people, 19.6 fantasy points allowed to Marcus Mariota. Yes, I think that Bo Nix is better than Marcus Mariota. I think that Bo Nix against uh, the Carolina Panthers is definitely one of the matchups I'm choosing. Their median allowed is 13.25. Uh, I think that that is... And that was allowed to Gardner Minshew. So, uh, yeah, I would bet that Bo Nix in the Denver Broncos can score more than Gardner Minshew in the Las Vegas uh, Raiders in fantasy points. And, you know, that. so I think that that's a really helpful tool. But also, I really like the total fantasy points allowed. You get to see who these top five teams are allowing, you know, the top five teams allowing the most fantasy points to the QB position. Right here, we got Carolina Panthers, number four, 20.13 on average. Um, I think that that is definitely, like I said, one of the matchups I'm going for. Uh, looking back at these D-Pack scores, I think Bo Nix, Carolina Panthers, you heard me say it enough. I don't need to say it again. Uh, then if we look at here, total fantasy points allowed to the QB. After Carolina Panthers, right behind them, Arizona Cardinals. You've got Tua versus the Cardinals. It's a really hard matchup to, to avoid, I think. Um, if I am if I if I was starting those two QBs, I think I'm looking at Bo Nix and Tua provided Tua plays. If Tua doesn't play, whole nother story, clearly probably going Geno Smith and Buffalo Bills. But right now, if Tua's starting, he's my QB two in this situation. I hope you guys like this. I love the D-Pack tool. I really think it's great for highlighting matchups, especially if you're also playing Daily Fantasy. Uh, this can be a really great tool to get that bargain, you know, cheap player to fill in your flex spot or whatever you need. So if you've got any questions, please feel free. DM me, reach out, tag me on Twitter, X, whatever you want to call it, Twix, at DumpsterDiveFF. Give me a follow. Hit me up. I'll be happy to go through the D-Pack tool with you guys for any of your individual matchups. Thanks.